Okay, the KK2 board is now hooked up to the tricopter and uh, it has power. So I'm just going to run through some of the settings to make your tail servo work. So go down to um, Mixer Editor, press Enter. And what I found was, for me, was the confusing part was right here it says rudder with a value of zero. Now I kept changing that either to plus 100 or minus 100 and as I was yawing the uh, the tricopter it was it was making no difference the um, the orientation of of where the servo wanted to turn was the same each time and I, I kept changing the rudder value here and I wasn't getting anything and then I realized that this is channel 1 which must mean M1 and so you have to go along up here on this uh, top right hand corner once it's uh, if I press next it will go on to to the different um, values that you can set but here when the number one goes black you can change that and you can start running through all the way to four which will be M4 and now you can see the rudder is minus 100 and the offset is 50 and the type down here is on servo because that's what we're using if it was a, a quadcopter then um, channel number four would be uh, it would say ESC so uh, so if that saves anybody a few hours that would be good because um, it, it was really confusing no nobody made it very clear that you have to have to change the channel to channel four uh, the other thing that I, I had to do to begin with just to get the servo moving was um, was to add power to the servo and I did that um, from my UBEC which is the universal battery eliminator circuit I've made up a little wiring diagram here Let's see if I can get this all in shot so at the bottom you can obviously see that's the servo and I've just laid out how I did the uh, the jumpers so I had to make a, a jumper cable from uh, from the UBEC and come around onto the positive of the servo and the same with the negative wire onto the negative wire of the servo um, this represents M4 which is where the servo is plugged into and this represents M1 which is where the um, the ESC is plugged into so if you have if your ESC has a BEC built in, I've drawn this other quick diagram here uh, just to show you what it would look like you still need to run power to the servo uh, from the positive wire of the ESC and the negative wire of the ESC and that gives your servo power to move otherwise I found it didn't move so um, those two things was a real brick wall for me trying to set up this tricopter so I thought I'd put that together because I had to really you know trawl a lot of forums and, and do a lot of research on how to get this thing working and uh, I'm happy to say now when when you put it into uh, flight stabilizer mode it, uh, it counteracts any um, outside movements correctly so uh, I'm ready for a test flight now anyway I hope that helped thanks for watching bye